Joe Biden and Kamala Harris came in office and put that vaccine out. So let's stop playing. This is not a game. How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan. And today I got to react to a very interesting video from James Klug. And if you guys are not subscribed to him, please do so through the link in the description where you're able to see this full video as well. But this particular clip is great because you saw at the very beginning, they had on what appeared to be custom made Kamala Harris merchandise. All right. So you already know what they're going to say. You already know how they're going to say it. But maybe you've not met a person like this in real life. I have. I've met him in the street. I got him in my family. I know this kind of boomer stuck in the past, not really understanding what's happening in the country or in the world. I know that kind of person very well. Now, before I go any further, let's get into the actual clip. And of course, this will be in the box if you're on IG. Visit a link in the bio, go to the corresponding article on the website. But without further ado, let's go ahead and roll it. Donald Trump, okay. So you guys are in the perfect attire. <laughs> we, we got the Kamala Harris merch right here. Absolutely. We voting for Donald Trump or Kamala Harris? Are you kidding? <laughs> Kamala Harris. Definitely Tim Kamala Wall. Harris. Now, before we continue, I just want to read their shirt in case you guys cannot see the screen. So they have one of these black shirts, um, black t-shirts. And it says, President Kamala Harris, 2025. It's a picture of her in the center. No Tim Waltz, of course. And then it says, People Power Campaign. Now, what I find funny is that his picture looks a little bit lighter than it's probably his wife. A little bit lighter than that picture. I don't know what's going on with that, but I digress. In the house, yes. yes. Why is that? Why are we voting for Kamala Harris? Well, number one, she talks about what we've lived. I'm an educator some 40 years. And what we've lived is lifting people up, not tearing them down. And he seems to specialize in that, tearing people down. And I am the absolute opposite. <laughs> and I, wonder, I wonder how much MSNBC and whatnot that this man watches, along with his entire family. Because this right here is just kind of giving me the creeps. But let's keep on going. And, and he epitomizes everything that I've stood against and everything that I've trained and, and, and worked with my students to do. And that is to lift up one another and to achieve greatness and great heights and be told that they can always, always do well and do the best. And do the best and be the best. Yeah. And you guys, she's obviously been heavily involved in the Biden administration. Um, what was your favorite accomplishment of hers as Vice President of the United States? As Vice President of the United States, she was... Now, now let's see what the response is, because truthfully, there is no response. There's not much he can really say as far as an accomplishment. But let's see what he comes up with. It's bold enough to go to the border and tell people to stay home. Ah. Oh, what was that? Don't come? What was that? That whole situation? Um, I don't think the don't come comment worked because under the Biden Harris administration, what do you have like 8.7 million border crossing encounters compared to 2.1 million under Donald Trump. And that is not even the full four year term under Kamala. That's just three and a half compared to a full four years under Trump. So obviously it didn't work, sir. Uh, people forget that. <laughs> And, and, and in fact, uh, more so, there are a lot of people who are misinformed and there's a lot of misinform misinformation going around. And so I, I agree. I agree with you. That, that right there we can agree on. That could be a bipartisan agreement. Let's set the record straight, if I may. And that is, Trump didn't give you a dime, people. <laughs> that was the Joe Biden, Kamala Harris administration that gave you $2,300 and $1,500. No one else. Okay, so we got a little, we got a fact check. We got a clue check. It says pandemic stimulus payments were issued mid-April 2020 in December of 2020 under President Trump. Okay. Stop playing. This is not a game. Hey, I, I got a question for you. When it, when it comes to the border, uh, you know, Kamala Harris overlooking the border, telling them not to come. Uh, that is seemingly more of a, uh, a, uh, a sore subject when it comes to this administration. Worst border crisis in American history. 
and when she visited the border, she didn't border the, visit the spot where the border crisis was happening. What are your thoughts about that? Is that something to tout for this for, for Kamala Harris when this is the worst border crisis in American history that we've seen under this administration? What do you wow, think? Oh, and more in misinformation, and from you. <laughs> That's funny. Wait, let's let's make it clear. Yeah, yeah. All right. Clarify. I Just so you understand. I don't think that was misinformation. The Biden, it is. You guys, let's take a few moments to talk about my... All right, so shout out to my man. Let's go and skip past this ad right quick and keep on going. Back to this video. The Biden administration inherited that border crisis. You remember the one that Trump said that he was going to build a big wall? I think he made it about five feet. <laughs> Not just that, it was Wait. so garbage, yeah. so garbage that I think I could have made it through that wall. All I had to do was just open the door. 2.1 million border crossings compared to 8.7 million. So, I mean, something he was doing was working. You know, it's more to border security than just having the physical barrier. That's just one piece of it. But there is a lot of different ways you deter the so-called migrants from coming. Like, I don't know not giving them thousands upon thousands upon thousands of dollars and jobs and housing and everything else that Americans don't have access to. I'm getting triggered. Let me digress. But not just that. It was also done in a situation where they were advocate, advocating, not just advocating, but they also had a, what is that called? A bill that, that they were going to strengthen the border. And in fact, okay, here, here go the whole border thing. This, this is somebody that watches a lot of television. So he's talking about the so-called bipartisan border security bill that was proposed under the Biden administration. But check it out. There was no need for such a bill under Trump. So why is there a need for a bill now? What happened? I don't understand. 2.1 million border crossings compared to 8.7 million and counting. So what happened? Why do we now need a bill? And what's in that bill? Really? You saying border security. Okay. How many thousands of pages did it? What's what's in there? What do we have Ukraine spending in there? Why do we have spending for other countries in a bill that's for our border? Like, let's make that make sense. But I digress. That bill didn't even come from them. Yeah. It came from Congress and they were with the bill prepared to sign. They negotiated and everything else. And guess what? Donald Trump called up all his buddies and said, don't vote for it because I want them to seem like failures. Guess what? They're not. They're not failures. And in fact, when Donald Trump... How, how did refused, they inherit the border when crisis? Donald if Trump you don't mind me asking. Refused to Imagine having this guy at your dinner table with you talking politics. And I know, I, I know people like this. I know them. I stay away from them completely. I don't want to talk to you at all because it's not even about the political part. Personally, I don't even talk politics with family, friends, whatever. I don't even talk politics because I know I know more than everybody, and it's unfair for me to really do that. So I'm not trying to beat up on people. I'm not trying to punch down. That's not really my thing. So a guy like that who wants to really push forward with the politics, wearing it on his sleeve, I'm going to just leave you alone because it's going to be an unproductive and unhealthy conversation. Put out that vaccine for the coronavirus and kill some 658,000 people. Okay, so that was Operation Warp Speed under Trump. And I'm not even, listen, some of these things you're talking about, I don't even like that Trump did. Really, I wasn't defending the vaccine from the jump, but that was not under the Biden-Harris administration. That was under Trump. The, the stimulus probably was a bad idea too, because look at how much money we had to spend to do that. But again, that was under Trump. So I mean, even the things, the things that you're saying, I don't even want to claim, but I got to claim it because it's the truth. My friends that I went to college with uh, also included, when that happened, Joe Biden and Kamala Harris came in office and put that vaccine out. So let's stop playing. This is not a game. And guess what? This is about lives. Do you mind if I touch on the border crisis people. though? You, you, He's, you, uh, you uh, tried, well, and I got ain't ready to leave. Now they always do that. They always try to like drop the mic. Oh, I got you. I'm out of here. They run away. But he stayed longer than a lot of your liberals do. A lot of them would just cuss you out, call you a name, and then run away. Yeah. How did they? How did they you inherit to, it? They inherited because the border crisis. Uh, how long have people been coming across the border? Yeah. 
but under Trump's administration, they were seeing a 50-year low of border crossings. It then well, jumped to eight times as much. That's so that's, is, that's a lie. Yeah. Yeah. Why is that a lie? Let me finish. I'm sorry. Let me finish. That's that's actually it's actually not a lie. That's a fact. That's a lie. Let's just be clear. Your facts are lies. During during the Trump administration, you know where I got that fact from? That's the reason why. People don't really want to vote for Harris because men disrespect women. Well, ma'am, I'm not uh, talking. You know what? For real, for real, the wife shouldn't even be talking at all. Like, I'm, I'm talking to the husband, okay? If it's a, if I'm a man and I approach a man to speak, I'm going to speak to the man. I, I ain't got to speak to you. That might be his daughter right there, probably special needs or something like this. I'm not talking to y'all. I'm going to let y'all be over here. The man, you step forward. You fight the battles. Don't let her talk at all. If it's me... And I'm with wife and kids. Y'all, y'all can just keep your mouth shut and I'll take care of whatever needs to be taken care of. Okay. So James is doing the right thing. My man right here just got triggered and defended and she's trying to pull the whole woman card. So I'm, I'm, trying to, to I'm get, just trying to get one point out. Yeah, okay. and that, that, that's what, he, he that's it. Away. Yeah. Right. Donald Trump or Kamala Harris. Oh. All right. So there we go. Shout out to my man, James Klug. Shout out to all the Trump supporters and everybody out there. All right. But you had, you had some Kamala people. Again, this was in Las Vegas. So... I don't know, probably got a lot of tourists, a lot of normies, regular folks out there. Shout out to them. But as I close, I want to say this. Um, <laughs> there's quite a few of those people that you probably know in your family, your, your uncle or somebody like this. Hey, man, leave them be. They want to be like that. They want them stuck in their own ignorance. Leave them be. I will speak to somebody and have a back and forth or a debate with somebody who's willing to have the conversation and not get out of control and not be belligerent. I, you know. That, that kind of attitude, I'll leave alone. And especially if they're in my family, I just won't even touch it with a 10-foot pole because I'm not trying to ruin a relationship or make the family reunion weird or have them call my mama talking about, oh, Anthony said this, Anthony said that. I don't got no time for that at all. But I think I'll leave that right there for now. And what say you? What's your opinion on what you just saw? Have you experienced that in your regular everyday life? Have you not? Do you want to? Do you not? Whatever your thoughts are, let me know in the comments below. You guys know where I'm at. Like that kind of behavior is very typical. And a lot of it is driven by the mainstream media. Okay. They will go out there and say certain things and do certain things to antagonize people to make them kind of crash out like that. That is very common, unfortunately. But whatever your thoughts are, please let me know in the comments below. And that is all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.